All right, you guys, welcome back to the channel. So our friends over at Charvel have done it again. They asked us to take a look at their multifunctional shovel, which to me looks like a survival shovel. And um, if you guys haven't seen, they sent us before this flashlight here. Really good product, um, very durable, um, very bright. So I encourage you to go check out this video. And possibly, if you like one, uh, go ahead and purchase one off their website. Um, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and take a look at this. They've got very uh, very well-made products, I have to say. So we're going to go ahead and open it. What are we going to use today? we got the Honshu knife. I really like these ones. It's got a nice blade on it. As you can see there, but... Overall, really nice knife, sharp as hell. So let's go ahead and check this out. Now this is just gonna be an, an unboxing and overall just taking a look at this. Um, we will go out into the field uh, maybe this weekend and we will do a field review. Um, but for right now, we're just gonna unbox this bad boy. Uh, this thing probably weighs, whew, good 10 pounds so that already tells me that this isn't going to be your ordinary shovel so oh look at that all right so right off the bat we've got a, a bag here this is going to be the bag that you're going to carry it in that's what i'm assu assuming wow look at this i was not expecting this you guys there's a bunch of pouches in here uh, one main, and then you've got some sides here. These are probably going to be for your poles because it is a screw together. It's got a nice uh, shoulder strap here. Very, very thick, well made material. It's got some Molly straps on the sides. Yeah, I was not expecting this. I just thought there was going to be a shovel in there. And even from the uh, from what I saw, I didn't see the bag, so cool. All right, well, that's nice that it comes with a containment system. So let's see what else we got in here. I'm already excited. I think we need a little bit more light. Yeah, how's that? That just was not cutting it. All right, so. There's our uh, information to uh, there. Hiking tip: If you get lost in the woods, stay where you are because we don't because we don't like you. Please don't come back. Just kidding. It actually increases your chances of being found. Angeles National Forest. Okay, cool tip. And yeah, just stay where you are. Don't leave. Best thing you can do: signal fire. All kinds of stuff like that. So here's information pamphlet here. User guide. Thank you and welcome to the Charvel fam. Oh, so the length is 38 inches. Shovel heads 8 inches by 5.9. The blade length is 3.35 uh, inches. Meganese steel with the uh, handle. The shovel head is meganese steel on the. Uh, Handle materials, aluminum alloy. Uh, let's see here. There's a, there's some survival stuff in here. So there's a compass for your directions. There's a rescue whistle, a fire starter, an extension bar can be assembled or lengthened for greater convenience. It's got a knife for cutting, digging, sawing, scrape, peeling, breaking open, and break open a hexagonal wrench. It's also got an, um, a screwdriver in here. Um, transformation mechanism, that's pulled to adjust the head, and then a card slot, lock the shovel head at any position, and it's got a saw for cutting wood, and then your bag for all your parts and carry fit inside the small bag. Wow, now I'm getting, uh, even more surprised because, well, what the heck is going on here? Alright, so the, the shovel head itself is also in a separate bag. This thing is... This thing has got some weight to it, you guys. Like, for real. 
it has got some weight. And then we've got this another bag. I'm not sure what this is for. Not yet. We've got another strap here. I'm not sure what that's for either. Yeah, I'm not too sure. Interesting. We got a presentation. I mean, it's uh, pretty good here. So we've got... Right here, let me move this box out of the way and then we can start looking at what we've got here. Set it off to the side. We'll put these over here. I cleaned off the workbench and it still feels like I don't have a lot of room. All right, so let's check that one there. And we've got this one here. All right, so this is going to be your handle, and you've got a compass, and it's actually checking it now. It is accurate. And then, got a knife. Crazy. Okay. Now, figuring out how this goes together, there is no instructions. Let's see what we've got in the cap here. I'm assuming that's going to be. Okay, so you've got big old chunky ferro rod here, and this is going to be perfect for starting that. Really nice sharp blade. Yeah, I like that. What else have we got in here? Ah, we've got a screwdriver got a Phillips and a flathead and of course you're going to use this to turn it with clever I'm curious though oh you know I bet you that blade goes right in here that's what I'm assuming Yeah. I was thinking maybe it went in actually inside the shovel. But no, maybe it doesn't go in here. Oh, well, let's see. Yeah. I'm going to have to say that that's where that goes. If I'm wrong, maybe they can correct me, but that's what I see for now. Um, see here. Still not sure what this is about sure we'll figure it out later but anyway let's check out this uh shovel here put this all back together it looks like oh no here all right that makes sense and it actually okay so that's how you're gonna use your screwdriver and nice sort of nice handle on it too comfort comfort grip but i'm taking a look in here and uh, it looks like you might have a good stash spot. Oh, yeah. Look at all the room in there. Yeah, so you can put all kinds of stuff in there. I'd throw some fishing line in there. Some hooks. Fire starter. Hell, even some matches I'd throw in there. Because I'm assuming this is waterproof. And yes, I don't need that extra light anymore. So yes, this has got waterproof ring on here. So that's 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 very sweet. There's a lot of room in there. You got hell, you've got like that much of that. So there's a lot of space. Very heavy duty. And it felt like those uh those threads were greased. Okay, you know what? This is next level. 
You know, you got those stupid military shovels where, because I was trying to screw this down. This one doesn't screw. Look, it actually spring loaded and it's got grooves. And look how thick that metal is. That metal is not going anywhere. That is way badass. And that's in there. This is like next next level. Now let's take this out. We want to be careful because they say that it is sharp. Now let's see. Look at that. Oh yeah. You got a blade on this side. And you got a gnarly saw right here. Whoo. I have never seen a survival survival shovel like this, and I'm telling you, this is this is meant to last. This is really heavy. You could definitely do a lot of things with this. To be honest with you, I have a couple shovels over there. One of those, some of those ones you screw down. Nah, this is my new shovel. You guys really need to check this thing out, man. I would encourage you to, uh, I'll, I'll leave a link in the description. But the fact that you can do that, it's so, look at that. Locks in and that spring is strong too. It's not, it's not easy to pull. Yeah. Wow. I'm I am super impressed. I mean, not to say that I wasn't going to be, but you know, these guys got a good product here. Let's see how long we can get this to go. Cuz I think you can get almost a full length out of this. And I like that each piece, it's got a waterproof seal on each piece, so everything's completely waterproof. I'm wondering, you know what? You can actually stick gear inside each one of these. Here, let me show you. I think I just, let me see if you can do that. I'm thinking of... Okay, so each one of these is hollow, but you could take a piece of cork or something and shove it in there and pack it in. And you can literally put in each one of these, as long as you keep it together, you can put survival gear in this whole entire shaft of the shovel. And you don't, you don't need to collapse it if you, if you don't mind having it together. Holy, I'm not going to have room to put this together on the bench. Let's see, let me move something here. This is a really cool shovel, you guys. Um, and I saw the price. I'm not going to say the price. I think, oh well, I think it was around 100 bucks. But to be honest with you, wow. So you've got a full length shovel and it's it's nice and heavy duty and i'm telling you even though it screws together that is not going anywhere I'm not disappointed i've never heard of this company not until they reached out to me and i'm glad they did this thing is hardcore for real i am really really impressed right now you know there's a lot of things that come through on this channel and I mean, yeah, it's typical gear. You've seen it a thousand times. But this is just totally... This hardcore. I'm not going to lie. This is hardcore. And like I said, each one of those shafts, you can, uh, you can put gear in there. The other cool thing, though, is that I'm looking here you can you can make it any length you want 
You know, so if you need to look, be able to build a little, you know, a little fox hole or train hole or whatever, you can have just a little shorty. Or if you're sawing, I'm telling you, that's that's a hell of a saw. Look at that. That's a ripper. That's what that is. Really cool product, man. Really cool product. Still not sure what this is for. Maybe it's for this. It's got to be. I'm assuming it's for this knife. I really wish there was a way to integrate this knife into here, though. I was thinking maybe you can put it in a shaft. And, may and maybe you can. I don't know. I'll have to uh, look into it later. You might just be able to, to be honest. Let's see here. Really curious about that. No, the blade won't pass. Oh well, it would have been cool, but... Oh, wait a minute. It's got threads on there. Interesting. Because you know what's funny too is there's threads on the inside. So it's definitely made for something. Not for this though. Anyway. All in all. Still pretty cool. Well, in my opinion. It's badass. Very much so. Let's uh take this thing apart and what we'll do is we'll check out this bag let's go ahead and put the shovel back in the sheath I think the sheath needs to be a little bit better quality just because of the blades on each side but to be honest I think it's more of just a protector so that uh, when you go to put it in your actual carry bag which is super heavy duty and a cool color by the way nice camo Assuming you just put everything in here. Like so. And it's even got one for your knife. And then slide the shovel in here. Zip her up. Look at that, ready to go. Really, really cool. I think this is one of the coolest products that I've seen on this channel in a long time. Practical item. Yes, it's a, it's a little heavy, but you know, keep it in your truck so that you don't, you know, you get stuck. You've got a full length shovel. Camping trip, you know, you dig your fire pit. I don't know, I just like this. That's locks. Seems like it's very dependable. Sharp. Got your cutter there. Got the ruler. But Anyway, guys, this is going to be Charvel's multifunctional shovel. We are going to go out into the field and eventually test this sometime in the next few days or so. But I'll leave a link in the description. I really encourage you to head on over and pick one up for yourself. I'm going to tell you that, yeah, I back this product and that you will not be disappointed. 
and uh, we don't say that on this channel a lot, but Charvel's got some really good equipment, especially the flashlight as well. So when you head over to get, grab a shovel, you might also grab yourself a flashlight. That's their S1 Tactical, 1900 lumens. It's got a big battery in there, has a lot of runtime. Uh, I have tested that and carry it at work almost every day. So uh, that'll be it for today's video, guys. So uh, until next time, y'all have a good one.